Hi, I'm Eric Charles, I'm nine years old. How did the Sam wish trust end? My name is Allison DeMario. I'm Director of Education at the Salem Witch Museum in Salem, Massachusetts. The Salem trials and executions took place during the summer of 1692. The first person to be executed was Bridget Bishop. She was hanged on June 10th, 1692. The last hanging day was September 22nd. And on that very sad day, eight people were hanged. During the summer, there were people who uh, were very much against what the court of Oyer and Terminer were doing, was doing, very concerned that innocent people were being killed. And so it, it's a mistake to think that everybody in Salem Village and the surrounding towns and the town of Salem was um, behind the trials. It, that definitely was not the case. And there were some prominent people like Thomas Brattle, who wrote a letter to the governor saying, you know, you're making a terrible mistake. Innocent people are being killed. The governor, Sir William Phipps, was gone for the summer. He was a soldier and he was um, dealing with conflict north of Salem. When he came back at the end of the summer, he listened to the criticisms of the court. I think he understood that innocent people were being killed. And so in October, of 1692, he disbanded the court of Oyer and Terminer. So in effect, the trials were over. The next court that was formed in January of 1693 did not allow spectral evidence. There were still people awaiting trial, um, and there were still people in prison, of course, um, and there had been three people condemned and not hanged. The court formed in 1693 pardoned the three, the governor pardoned the three who had been convicted, and finally, over time, the people who were still waiting in prison were freed, and so, in effect, that ended the trials. Then apologies were made, and finally, um, some names were cleared. It was not until 2001 of this century that the last names were cleared from the Salem Witch Trials. Actually, it was on October 31st, 2001, the last names, there were five that had not been cleared or had not, and it was kind of a symbolic clearing uh, because, of course, the court that had convicted them no longer existed. But Governor Jane Swift of Massachusetts signed, uh, I forget what number it was, of the General Laws of Massachusetts, clearing the names of the last five who had not been cleared. There had been some names cleared in 1711, and one more cleared in 1957, but finally in 2001, the last names were cleared. So it was a long, long history. And of course, we're still talking about the trials because we can learn a lot from it.